Good morning and welcome to CCTV's Lester Watchers or Ebony Gaze in the Sky. Today I'm bringing you that forensic of the uh, ISS I showed you in the last video. The little sneak peek is actually the video. But I'm going to do some forensic and I'm going to zoom in. I got some still shots. I'm going to de de uh, decloud one of those clouds. Somebody asked me to, to start doing the uh, erase the cloud video. So I'll try to erase that cloud at the end. But uh, hang on to your chairs. I'm going to put some really calm music on, like if we're watching from the ISS. Because <laughs> we are. And this is real footage, people. This ain't fake. This ain't Photoshop. This guy, and uh, Israel Anderson, from his channel, he was told by Third Phase of the Moon where to go on the ISS um, history. Or the, uh, you know, the logs of different videos at the high minutes. I slowed it down for better viewing. I slowed it down quite a bit, and um, I edited out the where he was fumbling around. I edited out all the garbage, which we all do, which I usually edit out. You never see it no more. Uh, you see a lot of fumbling around. But anyways, uh, people, UFOs, whatever this is, is real. The Sun Simulator, whatever it is. Uh, we've seen those big hilo, uh, hello, hello, poor sun dogs with the big rings and the double ring. This is what it is, folks. This is revealing the truth. Now... This is what it is. I don't know if it's Earth made by Earth. It's made by fallen angels. It's made by the Anunnaki. But my uh, my thought is it's made by our government. And uh, it's you notice that when it gets to wispy clouds, which tells me something's moving over, they're going to send this thing up and turn it on. So keep watching. Grab your popcorn and your drink. And uh, let's do the forensic on this. God bless you people. I'll be back. Shout out. Tell them to watch the whole video. Let it, let it sober them up a little bit. Um, don't be afraid of what they're going to say. You watch this stuff every day. Even you lens flare hunters, you watch it. Even trolls. You keep coming back and give me thumbs down. So this is real footage. Um, shout it out. Shout it up to five people. Twitter. Instagram. Facebook. Help me out. Break the AI shadow banning. And it's doing good. We're getting away from it right now. Keep watching.
just to possibly help me out, help me out there. You giving a couple people a shout out. Tell them to watch the whole video. Let it, let it sober them up a little bit. Um, don't be afraid of what they're going to say. Watch this stuff every day. Even you lens flare hunters, you watch it. Even you girls, you keep coming back and give me thumbs down. So this is real footage. Um, shout it out. Shout it up to five people. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Help me out. Break the AI shadow banning. And it's doing good. We're getting away from it right now. Keep watching. This is part two of narrating this. Um, I just showed you a bunch of still shots, and I actually think this thing opens up like a satellite, kind of like a satellite dish. Can you picture that? Um, the bottom part is like a baluster of a light bulb, fluorescent light bulb, but on a halogen light, they use a power source. I don't understand it. I'm not an electrician, but they use a power source to build the power up like a baluster, and then it begins to light the halogen light and I think it's one big halogen light in the middle there that black area you've seen it that blue area I marked out um, now the forensic tool all I'm really doing is seeing how how close I could get to it and if I could find some kind of markings but I do believe this is earth technology now that big cloud it's kind of freaky right <laughs> I'm not saying it's anything but it sure it looks like a it looks like a spacecraft carrier an aircraft carrier spacecraft carrier now see how that thing's in a V well it actually I think the panels open up the black panels go boop, 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 opens up and then the bottom part begins to glow as we've seen in the video and then boom the light comes on you see that big like beam going up and down 
So right now it's going across the uh, horizon and going to go up into the atmosphere. As it turns bluer, you'll see it goes up into space. And now the four, you know, the four blue, um, you know, the four red panels we've been seeing when you take a picture of the sun, you see it every time. That tells you that what you're seeing is a sun simulator because I used to never get those red panels. Uh, but look at that thing. It's just as clear as day on this forensic tool. And you got to love this forensic tool. It just, I've already blown that picture up like a thousand times. The forensic tool uh, just brings it in another 300 times. So you can really see what it is. It's it's basically a flying light bulb, people. That's how big this technology gets. They just took a street not street light technology and turned it into a big giant sun. And I don't know when those panels come out if it actually uh, begins to spin. But I would say because I've seen the the black dot spin. I would say it probably does spin and throws out an array of light. Um, we've seen those halos with the four, like sun dogs, and I've seen double ones. Was there two of these in the area? Now in this shot right here, I think they're actually just testing it, and the ISS is watching to make sure everything goes good, and then it just takes off into space. Well, probably just hyperspace, probably sonic blue to the other side of the globe. To where it needs to hide the planets or it needs to hide a spacecraft um, or it needs to hide an asteroid right so that's my take on it it's not pure science it's just my speculation um, I'm not the expert on this stuff I didn't go to school for a physicist and I don't work on the ISS so but here we go this is my take right here so watch I'm gonna show you how it it looks like it's just, it bands out, the bottom's a baluster, and it turns on. Pretty simple, right? In the middle's a light bulb. <clears throat> and then you got big sun. <clears throat> so, is the sun still lit? I think Dr. Claudia Albers says no, it's turned off. And after watching this, and the ISS watching this, and this being found by Israel Anderson, go check out his channel and his website. Great guy. You don't, you know, he's like me. He's never done this before, so he's trying to make a channel. Anyways, uh, thought you guys would like this. Next video, I found the asteroid from what I think they were talking about uh, Valentine's Day hitting the Earth. And I want to show you that one next, all right? So I'll give you a little sneak peek of the asteroid. And talk to you later. God bless. Thanks for coming to this, to this video. Um, shout it out to at least five people. Show them what's going on. Talk to them about it. And tell them not to freak out. Wake up. God bless. Got Jesus today. You're going to need him. Showing you real truth here. You're going to need him. Nobody believes in the sun simulator. I just showed you the sun simulator driving over and parking and turning on. And uh, thanks, thanks to Israel Anderson that he actually was brave enough to put this up. This might shut me down. If it does, go to Kofi. Kofi TV channel. Been up for over a year. It's established, but I don't have anything on it yet. But I will.